Hey guys, no one might have questioned this theory, but for some reason, I think that Wobat is for some reason on Skull Island. Remember that snake thing in the trailer that's coming in the movies? <coughs> it's got its voice... I mean, it's got its name changed, not its voice. What am I even saying? <coughs> so, basically, in Godzilla vs. Kong, we pretty much know who will win. You know, Godzilla. Because it's pretty obvious right off the bat. But, for some reason, in another YouTube video I think it was called Gold Theory I yeah it is and Godzilla could control that I mean Kong couldn't control Godzilla's powers because in the trailer well basically other people have seen this in the trailer don't mind the background so <coughs> So basically, the reason why I said I think that Warbat is on Skull Island, remember that part in the trailer where, you know, Warbat's species hasn't gone out yet? Because, why am I just tripping? Did, did Kong swing a Warbat and another Warbat? Shut up. So, am, am I tripping? Dog, be quiet. Am I tripping or not? So, is it just my theory that Warbear is on Skull Island? Because remember where Kong, you know, did the swinging thing at, with the Warbat at another Warbat? Well, if you don't think that was on Skull Island, well, if that if if this theory is not true, then where are they? Where are they fighting? And basically, if you didn't see the trailer, basically the second shot, the first ever look, like the first third second second. Mecha Godzilla in the background, and also, if you didn't know, here's the thing. I don't know how anyone has never answered. What theory thinks that Mecha Godzilla might be um being Godzilla? terrorizing it <clears throat> I think that was it but JC Entertainment thinks that Godzilla is just killing all the humans or hurting people to like since he's you know he's not good or bad he's just basically <clears throat> the both because he's not good he's not bad he is good but also bad well, it doesn't really make sense when it comes to Godzilla being a villain and a hero. But it doesn't really matter because it kind of does make sense a little bit. Because he is good and he is bad. So, back to my theory. Or, <clears throat> whatever. Um... So, you know that bit where, you know, Godzilla sliced that bone in half with his dorsal plates in the trailer? Well, do you think blades can do that? Because basically, my theory, Godzilla would have bumped his dorsal plates on them, on the boat. But, in the trailer, he just... Just for some reason, just slices in half. 
Now, we've seen this in 2014 with the bridge, but bridges aren't that strong as boats. At least, I don't think. Now, remember Ghidorah's head? Because we, we would expect King Ghidorah to come in the movie. I'm not saying this is King Ghidorah. This is just a Hydra. You can easily tell that's Hydra. So, why has no one ever think of that? Because, don't you think that blades cut into things? Not, you know, tough and rough skin, that old skeleton that doesn't, you know, because skeleton doesn't, you know, slice through things. I mean, I'll show you this. See? See that? See that? You see this? That is not slicing into that. So my theory that when Godzilla came onto the boat, that was Mecha Godzilla. Because it doesn't, you know, blades and you know mechanical stuff kind of mix together and make sense. Because Godzilla's dorsal plates do not, well, probably they do, and that was not Mechagodzilla, but for some reason, I do think it is. I mean, there's a lot of theories in Godzilla vs. Kong, but they just don't add up to me. I don't get it. If 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 Godzilla in the trailer was Mecha Godzilla, then where's the real Godzilla? And was this even the real Godzilla? And am I tripping? Am I just making stuff up that I think is real but isn't? Oh, well, I don't think so. I have seen the trailer four four times. I didn't mean to put up five. Four times. Well, maybe I have seen it four times. But basically, also, dinosaurs don't slice through things either. Basically, T Rex's jaws could crack a bone just like a Tasmanian devil, but. I don't think that's the same with Godzilla's dorsal plates. Then again, this theory could be right, but it could be wrong at the same time. But, for some reason, it's just not making sense. Just everything in the trailer does not add up. Just does not add up. Like, what I mean about that is basically, a dark theory, basically Kong's parents has died, because you can see, it was a dark place, when Godzilla, <laughs> well Godzilla's species died out anyway, so what am I saying, well, well Dagon died in the, um, Dagon died in the um, where the Muto Prime came in. But am I even? Tell me, tell me if I'm wrong. But Kong's species has died out. There was a war, but remember. Kong's hand where it was all covered in blood and the blood dripped from his arms and it's the helicopter blade if everyone hasn't seen Skull Island well isn't there just too much blood in that island basically 
basically Kong was tested by a monarch. Basically Kong is a mutant, but that he isn't a mutant, well kind of is, but just a giant ape. Basically Monarch had a lot of species of the giant ape, which I think they created, but I'm just getting this theory from the film theorist Kong's secret past, but not really that secret. But still, Kong's parents still abandoned him, but that wasn't because that they weren't good parents. It was because they wanted him to go. They wanted him to run. They didn't want him to get devoured by the skull crawlers. They just didn't want their newborn to die. But I could be wrong, though. But Kong's parents did die. You can see. This is the snake toy that I got. Now, back to Warbat. Warbat must be on Skull Island because they were fighting on this grassy and mountainish land. It had water, sort of. But my main theory is that the Xenomorph and Warbat are the same. Because you can see that that green goo coming out of Wobat's mouth when he was, you know, slammed by that other Wobat in the face. But remember that Xenomorphs had acid. But I'm not saying that Wobat spits out acid. But snakes can spit out venom. At least cobras can, like... Make this ray of venom just go everywhere. Well, what is it called? Well, I'm going to end this video here.